In this video, I'm going to show you how to submit an article to an article directory. The article directory I'm going to use is this one, ezinarticles.com. First thing to do if you don't already have a membership with ezinarticles.com is to sign up for one. So come here to ezinarticles.com and click on the button here, start your free membership. And you'll need to fill out the details here, your email address, password, your name and address and so on. So I'll just do that now. And there we are, that's done now. You can check the boxes to decide whether you want to uh, subscribe to their mailing lists. I'm going to leave these checked as they are and then you need to move the slider across to prove that you're a real person and not a robot so we'll just do that now and then click on the button here that says create my account and there you are you're set up and all you have to do is now start to upload your article best to write it all out ahead of time on your word processor obviously and I've got one here that I'm going to use for this demonstration. It's called Nine Tactics to Create Strong Customer Relationships. So the first thing to do is to select a category. And as this is all to do with uh, business customer relationships, I'm going to click here for business. And then the subcategory, I can choose from this list here. let's call that marketing and then you need to input your article starting off with the title I'm going to copy and paste the one that I have here nine tactics to create strong customer relationships so I'm going to right click and copy and then paste you can see it tells me that I've got 50 characters there. You are limited to 100 characters in your title and you can use the title that, that you've done by yourself or you can click on this button to get some title suggestions. I'm going to use this one. Then you want a summary and this should be as it says two to five sentences and this is what will show up when people do a search looking for your article. And it says here the first two or three senses from your article body will be used if you want to do it that way. I'm going to do this, you can see, I'm going to take this first paragraph and copy it. And then paste into this box here. So you've got 200 words maximum and I've just got 46 words there and scroll down a bit here. You can then import the rest of your article. So let's just highlight all that. And again copy. And paste. You can use HTML tags if you want and you can also use the what you see is what you get editor. If I turn that on you can see what it'll look like and I recommend that you do this anyway because you can then start to um, put in the paragraphs. As you can see here it's bunched it all up together so I'm going to put the paragraphs in. Going back to my original copy here what I'm going to do is bring the cursor to where I want to insert the paragraph break and then just press the return key and it automatically puts the paragraphs in so I'll just do that for a moment and there we go that's done so it just makes it easier for people to read you can also do things like make something bold just highlight it and then click on the bold tab and so on and you'll see what it looks like. I've done all that there. 
when that's done you need to put in your keywords and you can use your own keywords or you can use the ones that they will suggest in some cases it's better to go with the ones that they suggest so just to click on those you put commas in between them but not spaces and there we go and then you have your author's signature box or the resource box and this is perhaps the most important part of the whole thing because this is where you're going to put your link to your website which will help Google rank it for traffic and links and so on and again it's best to write it out on your word processor so you can copy and paste it in so I'm just going to do that now and there we go Basically you want to use the resource box as an advert for your website so you want to encourage people to click on the link to visit your website. You also want to include the full URL including the HTTP so if somebody has this in their newsletter and it's not a clickable link they can copy and paste it into their browser and visit your website. Okay. then you want to preview the article just to make sure it looks alright you see it does it in a pop-up window and there you see what the article will look like we'll scroll right on down and you can see there's the resource box at the bottom you can close the window you have to agree to the author's agreement which you can access by clicking on this link I've already read it so I'm going to go ahead and submit this article and it'll be submitted to easyinarticles.com easyinarticles will check it over for duplicate content because they only allow um, a unique article to appear on their website and once that's done it will be available on their website for everyone to look at